I'm so sorry. My phone's been going off the hook today. Okay, I, I wanted to get up with you because I heard about this incident and wanted to talk with you in person and all of the fun. Is that going to be possible? Uh, in person, sir, I, I will not feel comfortable meeting up with you in person right now. It's, I just choose not to, sir. Okay, well, that's, you know, uh, I wanted to set down the opportunity to find out your side of the story, and uh, if you don't feel comfortable, how do you expect me to help? No, I, I, I understand, sir, and, and I'll tell you the reason why I don't feel comfortable sitting down with you. After this incident took place, I was supposed to have a, a her captain come out and talk to me, which that never happened until I actually called 911. After I spoke to Captain South for a, a pretty long time, and I explained the situation and uh, ex expressed my concerns that his deputy had no integrity and that uh, I didn't feel safe with her being on the road, uh, he told me that she acted how she should have been acted. She was in her. She was in. She did everything right, and he backed up 100%. Um, even though, as you can see from the videos, uh, the incident report does not reflect anything that happened. I was never aggressive or anything like that. So, you know, and after my son being assaulted, um, and the way I look at it, if two peoples, an adult, myself, and my son's uh, First and Fourth Amendment constitutional protection rights were violated, and a minor was assaulted, and a captain from the sheriff's office did not find that there was something that should have been looked into, investigated further, immediately, that raised red flag, sir. You know, I, I I made contact uh, Sunday with a deputy uh, with with your office, and um, the word I was given Sunday night was, um, the kid. I don't know who. I, like I said, just what I was told was, the major said that they may be able to get to you by Wednesday. Uh, this happened Saturday. Wednesday's four days later. This matter to me was very pressing because people's uh, civil rights were violated and the minor was assaulted, and then. Um, that was not right, and then when I, when I saw the actual incident report, complete lies, then I had no other option but to proceed how I did. Okay, well, uh, how you proceed it doesn't change the fact that I'm still interested in your side of the story. Yes, sir, I, I, I definitely agree with you 100%. <laughs> uh, we, we, we could definitely meet, if you would like to, in a public place. Uh, uh, I, I I'm not an office that's public, and you can bring it whoever you want to bring with you. Um, I, I still don't feel comfortable, sir, I mean, to be honest with you. Well, can I ask you a question? Yes, you may. If a person doesn't feel comfortable, what is it about meeting me at the sheriff's office that makes you uncomfortable? Because I was, I was done wrong by a sheriff, sir. But I, I am the sheriff, and I... I, I as sure. you were, I, I apologize. I was done wrong by a deputy, not by the sheriff. There, I have nothing against against you or your person. Uh, you may not remember me in person, but we have met several times. And was that nice to you? Yes, sir. I, I, like I said, I have no complaints w with you as a person, you as a sheriff, uh, your department as a whole. Uh, but somebody that is representing you and your office and, and the county I reside in and have since 1998 is what I'm afraid of or I'm, no. or I'm concerned with. Well, here's my position, uh, Mr. Jamella. Yes, sir. And is you want me to handle this professionally, right? That is correct, sir. Okay. And the reason I'm calling you is I would like to sit down with you person to person mm -hmm. uh, and, and let you explain to me how you think, I, what you think I need to do to handle this. Yes, sir. Profession professionally and fair. Yes, sir, of course. And you, you know me. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a reputation of being fair. Yes, sir. I have a reputation of being honest. And I have a reputation also listening and doing, trying to do the right thing with what happened. Uh, sh Sheriff, uh, yes, I, I agree with you. I'm not, I'm not argue anything uh, regarding regarding anything that you, that you just said whatsoever. But this is, you know, like Captain South told me. You know, stand in the deputy's shoes for one second and look at it from both sides, which I always do with everything I do in life to make sure I'm doing everything in a straight and narrow. Right. Um, if I had to call 911 to have somebody contact me, which he did two minutes after, three hours after the incident happened, 
Um, and he did not express to me any concern. He did tell me he was back in his deputy 100%, which I understand. It's his deputy. He was not there. He doesn't know. But after I told him the facts and I told him I had videos, and and then the following day I get word that they may get to you by Wednesday, to me, I, I personally took that as a man, as a person, that it, it was not... Uh, it was not a priority for the sheriff's office to handle this. Well, but right. now but now it's a priority that it's all over the country and all over the internet and all over the news media. Um, Mr. Uh, you could call Man. me you could call me Carlos, sir. Carlos. I don't like to call I don't, I don't get it. You, you would you would not offend me one bit. My last name is hard to say. Carlos is perfectly fine. Of course, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying it cha- it's changing anything, Sheriff. I'm not saying that at all. I, 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 want, I wanted, I'll be honest with you, I wanted this to be handled the right way. I wanted to be, I mean, still being handled the right way. I wanted to, to action be swift and taken and, and whatever uh, means necessary to correct or rectify the situation. That's what I wanted. And that's why I tried, and that's why I went to the to the sheriff to uh, to your office, not your office particular, but to the uh, sheriff's department on Sunday to get this resolved. Once again, on Sunday, twenty four hours after the incident occurred, occurred, I was told that three days later they may get to me. I was expecting you to be in my office today. Uh, uh, sir, I know I have a job. I have a small business to run. Um, if I would have known that you were expecting me, I probably would have been there. But last word I got from the sheriff's office was, they may get back to you Wednesday. They'll give you a call whenever they talk to you. So whoever set up the meeting with for you and I to meet was never communicated towards me. So once again, there's another miscommunication, another gap somewhere along the chain. Well, Mr. Collins, uh, I still, as a man, the man that uh, I like to sit down with you, I want to feel what you're trying to tell me but looking at you and you're looking at me. So when the media, what, 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 do you, what, what do you mean by that, sir? Uh, it's, you know, we're talking on the phone right now. Yes, sir, of course. I would like to sit down face-to-face with you so when we got through talking, I would have an idea how you would like me to professionally address this. Mm-hmm. Being, being fair to you and fair to the uh, deputy that was here. I've looked at the... Uh, YouTube, uh, you know that? Yes, sir. I do have a concern. I do have a concern, and uh, it's something that I want to sit down with you, and I want you to just tell me, after we've talked, how you would think I would be fair in handling this event. Yes, sir, if I understand. Uh, may I ask you a question? Yes, you may. You said you have a concern. So my, my question is actually a two-part question. The concern you have is, you know, of the deputy doing the wrong thing or my and my son's first and fourth amendments violated and a minor being assaulted? Okay, I'm looking at the, the YouTube. I hope that I'm looking at it in full context. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, my concern is the whole, the whole picture concerning you and if my deputy overreact and uh, how can I Correct the issue that you that you'll be one of our happy citizens with the sheriff's office. I know you're happy with me. No, yeah, sir. I'm actually I'm an outstanding citizen. Uh, I, I've actually done a lot for the community. I've actually participating in many events with the sheriff's office to cl- to uh-huh. include the polar plunge uh, for the Special Olympics. You yes, know, I, I'm I'm the president of a local nonprofit organization, a 501c3. So, uh-huh. you know, that, that that's not the issue here. You know, like I said, I would, I would, I would meet with you, uh, but I would meet where. I would meet in a public place where, or in a public forum that maybe, third party is recording it, everything that's said, everything that's talked about, or if I, uh, or if I could uh, stream over the internet what's going on to certain individuals that need to be involved in this, that are already involved in this. I don't, I don't, don't know what you're talking about now. I I don't I don't know how to explain it, Sheriff. Um, I, I can raise that because you know, uh, you can bring that person with you. I mean, you can bring who you want to. 
No, the the the, the people referring to are are not local. Um, there 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 are people that had a that have major interest in this, um, and and yeah, they would have to be able to in real time hear what's going on and see what's going on, and the only way to possibly do that is with actually cameras rolling at the time. Well, you can if you want to bring somebody to record the meeting. You can bring somebody to record the meeting. All right, sir. Okay. Um, uh, I don't have a direct line to you. I do just have the regular number. If I could uh, make a couple of phone calls and see if we can make this happen, I could definitely call you back and, and see uh, where we would go from here. Okay. Uh, my direct telephone, my private number, uh, call us, is 910-340-0000. Yes. Uh -huh. All right, so I'll say it again, 910-340-6200. All right, sir. Um, and the media is pushing me for a comment, but I don't think it would be fair for me or you to make a comment without you and I first talking. What do you think? I, I, I don't know. I don't know, sir. I mean, I don't want to... It, it just... I, I, I think, sir, this is to the point where the public needs to know. Um, I know you're trying to fix it. Like I said, I'm, I'm not trying to go against the grain here. Not at all. That's not, that's not the type of person I am. But I think it's already got to the point where the pe people, besides us, are demanding answers. And they want to know why this occurred. Um, but like I said, I, I can make a couple of phone calls. And I will, get, I will definitely get back to you as soon as I have something. I will move as fast as I possibly can. Because I want this resolved. I do too. And I want, when it's resolved, I want you and I resolve it with a mutual understanding that we agree on how to resolve it. Of course. that That's actually, Sheriff, that's what I wanted from the moment I spoke to Captain South. That, uh, and, and I'll be honest with you, I want to speak very frankly. I feel like I was gaffed off. That's exactly how I felt. And, and, and uh, you know, my son, my, my son having bruises, which I know your deputy's incident report says he had no marks in EMS, he has no marks. But but the uh, the EMS, I was standing right outside where they said he should go get X-rays, and then all of a sudden their report doesn't reflect that. I think there was some uh, some um, well I don't know I can't speculate, but from yeah. what they told me, my wife was not on their report. But the emergency room does have that annotated uh, that he did have bruising, he did have swelling, uh, he had limited motion of his fingers, and he should follow up with orthopedics, um, and if uh, that should be included in in your deputy's report. And it was not. Uh, but like I said, Sheriff, I, I want to get this resolved. Uh, I hate being the way I have been for the last few days. Because uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm nervous. I'm scared. I've never found myself in a situation. I've never gone against the grain or whatsoever. Um, but uh, I will get back to you as soon as I can, Sheriff. Okay, would you let me know as soon as you can so I can, I can set up a press conference after we've met? I agree. I'll, I'll definitely get back to you, Sheriff. Okay. When you, as soon as you can, Mr. Carlos, I appreciate you doing that because that is going to determine the, e the email I send out to the media when I'm going to talk to them. All right, Sheriff. Right. Just, to com just to confirm your number, I have 910-340-6200. Uh, yes, sir. All right, Sheriff. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Now, just just for uh, for reference, if I'm not able to get an answer in the next few minutes, uh, what would be the latest I'm able to call you, and at what time can I call you tomorrow morning? Well, if you call me, you got my number, and that is with me all the time. Good to go, sir. And uh, as soon as you call me and let me know when you and I, whoever you want to sit down with me and talk, then after we have our meeting, then I'm going to uh, we'll 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 be on the same page. All right, sir. It sounds like a plan. And uh, what I'm going to do right now, Mr. Carlos, I think what I'm going to do to the media in reference to this, that I will not be making any statements until you and I have had our meeting. Does that, that sound right? Uh, 
You can, Sheriff, but I already was approached by uh, by one of the uh, media outlets, and I made a statement earlier. That's uh, all right. Okay, good That's to go. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to let you. I'm talking about me. Gotcha. I understand. I'm not going to make any statement until after you and I have had our meeting. Sounds good, Sheriff. Okay, sir. Take care of that. Thank, thank you for your phone call. Bye-bye.